than Isaiah hits that big three. Just what walk me through those final few minutes and what you were seeing out there. Yeah, um, it was that. I mean, they got hot late, especially in that fourth quarter. They started making uh, you know, a lot of big shots. A lot of the guys made big plays, but um, I thought we did a good job when we go down four. We called that timeout. Uh, we did a good job of responding, and uh, we made some big shots. Wiggs hit a big three in the wing. Isaiah hit that big three to get us back in front. Um, we got stops on the defensive end. So, you know, it was an ugly win, but, uh, you know, we'll take it. A lot of guys chipped in in this one. You had three guys with 20 or more. You had everybody scored tonight. Just it, it, particularly in this game, how big were those contributions? Oh, huge. I mean, especially when you're, you know, you got guys down. We got multiple guys hurt or, you know, not playing tonight. and. Um, for guys to step up off the bench that you know don't usually play probably that many minutes um, was big for us and, and was much needed. Um, but yeah, you know, as you say, everyone that, that stepped on the fourth and I made an impact. And um, I guess a team like that that you know they don't have a lot to play for at this part of the season. That's a dangerous team, and they're full of confidence. They came off a big win against Orlando and they took it to us you know all night. So credit to them. But um, I thought we were you know average in a lot of areas tonight. But um, as I said, it wasn't a great win, but you know, a win's a win. You've gotten to know Aaron for quite some time now, obviously been in the same draft class. Uh, to see a guy who probably hasn't taken 20 shots in, in quite some time in a game, have the night that he had on offense, have six steals on defense, um, what does it say to you about the way he's able to, to rise to whatever this team needs on a given night? Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of guy, player he is. Um, you know, he, I think he plays his role perfectly you know, every night. He, he knows... Um, when he needs to score, when he needs to defend, rebound, you know, do those type of things. And obviously tonight he took on a heavy load, you know, on the scoring, and um, he did a great job. He, he was aggressive all night. He's a really good creator with the ball in his hands. He makes uh, people better around him. So, uh, you know, he's a special player. And um, although he doesn't always have nights like tonight where he scores, you know, that many points and take that many shots, um, he, he, he does a little thing for this team that, you know, maybe don't show up on the box score, but uh, really appreciated, you know, internally. So um, he's been awesome for us for three years now, and um, players like that deserve nights like tonight. It wasn't just the final rebound that you had, but that one, you, know, you had a lot of rebounds, but that one sealed the game. I just want to ask you about the physicality in your game and how you've come into even more of your own on that, and the fact that you're only 21 and still sort of learning how to integrate all of that into your game. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I, it's kind of been like that from day one. I mean, we, we've always had kind of small ball fives, so I've, I've had to you know, help out you know, on the boards and um, defensively guard bigger guys. So um, over time, it's naturally increased. But, um, you know, I, I love rebounding. It's a way to push the break and get out and run. So, um, you know, being in there more, you're, you're going to get hit a bit more. And um, I love those type of plays. So, um, yeah, just, you know, obviously guarding bigs helps with that. But um, just understanding that, trying to bring a level of physicality that's contagious and that, you know, other guys can kind of follow. How important was this one? I mean, after losing three and, and, and even, you know, a chance to still move up in the standings, you know, and, and not lose what would have been probably a bad loss, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, coming off three in a row for the first time this year is, is tough and it's obviously been a long road trip, but, um, you know, we, we can't make excuses. And tonight, I thought, as I said, you know, we weren't great in a lot of areas, but um, it was an ugly one. But um, at this part of the year, you know, you take the wins you get and, um, you know, guys aren't looking too far ahead to, to the standings, but um, we're just taking it day by day and um, win tonight. And we've got four more at home, and um, hopefully we can close out the regular season the right way. And Josh, with the Hornets, uh, they went on some runs, and it seemed like your coach at times so allowed you guys to just play through it and not call that timeout. How much trust is there between the coaching staff and the players so that you guys can, you know, kind of work things out um, in real time? Yeah, I mean, a lot of trust. Um, that's kind of how it has to be um, in moments like that. You know, he trusts that we're going to get the car back on the road and, and get get back on the right track. And, um, you know, we did that in, in stretches. We didn't do it in other stretches. But, um, you know, he trusts guys that are out on the floor to, to make the right plays. And um, I, I thought, you know, we did that. We didn't do that. But, um, yeah, he, he definitely called his time out when he had to. But, um, you know, he, he also, on the other side, um, trust guys to, to figure it out on their own. And um, he's always, you know, going to be calling stuff from the sideline, but um, it's great having a coach that, um, you know, gives you freedom and, and, and lets you figure things out. Chet, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you about Chet. Uh, you're usually a playmaker out top in some of those situations. You guys run that pick and roll where he's the ball handler to get Isaiah the shot. What kind of luxury is it, ha is it to have a five man who can make that play for you late and execute? Oh, it's, I mean, it's huge luxury. Like, when I mean, your five man can handle the ball down the stretch and make plays, um, any team would love to have a guy like that. So, you know, obviously Isaiah has a lot of, you know, 
attracts a lot of attention. So I'm um, using him as a screener. We've done it with Shea in the past and guys that are, you know, knock down shooters. Um, defenses don't want to leave them. So um, they're great. They're great to use a screen as decoys. And, um, you know, Isaiah was, he, he did a lot of that tonight, especially when he's setting those, you know, step up screens or, or flat screens. Um, he's great in that, in that role. And, um, to have a guy like Chet that can handle and, and also a bonus because a lot of time fives are guarding Chet and we can put a five man having to guard a pick and roll from the ball handling perspective so there's a lot of different things to it but um, having guys like that down the stretch that can, that can handle the ball and, and especially a guy like Zay that can shoot the ball um, it's a tough thing to guard you sense a little extra motivation from Trey and Vasa and Tans, I, mean, I mean, they were great. They, played well. they were all great tonight. And, um, you know, they, that's the type of players there are. Uh, they are. Um, and, you know, it's fun to play against guys like that that, that you've played with for, for a couple of years now. And, um, you, know, we're, you know, as we kind of all speak about, like, we've got a really close team and those guys are just as much a part of it, you know, as anybody. So um, it, it's, it's awesome to play against and see them doing so well. But, uh, you know, it would have been great for them to do this on another night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Aaron, just what did it take down the stretch of, of this game? They put so much pressure on you guys in those those final minutes there. Um, just sticking true to our identity, um, playing the right way, playing together. Um, you know, they got hot, they got going in the you know second half, and um, I mean, just just trusting that you know our game plan, and uh, I mean following through with it. So we knew we had time on the clock to kind of you know still get ourselves a win, and guys just trusted it. You. Obviously had a big offensive night, but six steals as well. What were you seeing or trying to take advantage of while you're? Um, I mean, just just trying to make plays on both ends of the court. Um, you know, there were there are opportunities on the defensive end um, from rotations to kind of find, um, you know, cross court passes or you know just um, opportunities just to kind of make plays and uh, trying to be disruptive um, with my length and on the defensive end just cause a little bit of havoc. And uh, I mean, it was you know it. it Benefited us tonight. So, maybe you thought of the, the zone defense that you guys have run quite a bit here on this trip. It seems like there have been so many of those great live ball turnovers you've been able to create on those cross court passes. Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of disruptive just because it's a different look. Um, a lot of teams play a lot of man to man in the NBA, so uh, just being able to kind of switch and, and you know show a different look at times. Um, sometimes teams aren't prepared for it, and you can take advantage of that. You know, steal a couple possessions, um, and then other times it, it just you know makes them have to work a little bit harder to find you know advantages or opportunities to score. So um, gives us chances to kind of get out and transition as well. Make make guys kind of have to settle for tougher jump shots or threes. Um, and I mean, it was it was good for us tonight. So I think Isaiah had maybe played like 19, 20 minutes tonight before he hit a three. And I wanted to get your perspective on having a guy like that who can lay in wait and, you know, have things not necessarily go his way and be able yeah. to knock down the shots like he did. Tonight. He could miss 20 in a row. If he shoots a 21st, I think most of the team, I, I'm not going to say most, I think the entire team is going to be very confident that that one's going in. So, um, I mean, when he gets the ball in his hands and he's get he gets even a decent look. Um, if he's forcing a bad one, I think a lot of guys like his shots as well. So, um, I mean, we we trust his his you know judgment on some of those shots, and uh, I mean he he was huge for us tonight. So, what did you see on that play that Josh got the offensive rebound, punched it out to you, and you made that three? Just what did, what was your perspective of that? Um, I mean, Giddy's all over the offensive glass, um, you know, night in and night out. So um, just seeing him be there, I tried to be an outlet for him because um, I think he was kind of tied in with two or three different guys trying to, you know, steal the ball. Um, and once he was able to get it, um, I mean, just make the right play. And I was open, so I felt like it was a good shot. I kind of was in rhythm, so um, shot it, felt good. Um, I saw they made it a two at first, and I was was upset. But uh just, just making plays. Um, you know, Giddy's out there hustling, so you want to be available for, you know, a, a, a easy basket because you know offensive opportunities lead, op, offensive rebounds lead to offensive opportunities. So, you faced Trey and Vasa, Bertans, those guys in practice, Poku. What was it like in a real game? You knew they were going to play the hard out tonight. The same way they are, they've been in practice um, since I've known them was what they look like tonight. Um, I mean, they were huge. So, um, you know, I'm happy for those guys. Um, it was it was definitely a fun game to kind of be in, um, and uh, I mean each one of them played 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 a really good game. So uh, I mean it was competitive, a lot of love after the game, uh, but between the lines that was, that was a fun game to be a part of. It looks like you guys are gonna be home for about two weeks, you know, leading up to the playoffs. Thank God. Officials have to just not have to get up and go anywhere and just stay home. <sighs> oh man, it's a uh, 
it's a good feeling. So uh, I'm I'm happy to get back um, and just kind of you know recuperate, be in the comfort of your own home, and uh, you know just kind of uh, settle down a little bit um, and you know continue to tune up uh, as we kind of get ready for postseason play. Aaron, we've, we've talked about this a lot, but you, you started on three of the five games of this road trip. Your role just varies from night to night, but Coach Dagnall says you're just so consistent. How are you able to find consistency in such an inconsistent role each night? Uh, I mean, just, just trust in that whatever – Whatever night it looks like for me, whether that's offensively a bad game, offensively a good game, shots falling, not falling, um, defensively causing havoc, or you know maybe not being my best defensively, I'm um, just continuing to, tr to trust the work that I put in um, over time. Um, you know, understanding that with the comments that I have, if, I, if I'm out there and I'm, I'm playing hard, trying to do the right things, um, everything works itself out. So um, regardless of the role or the situation, um, just trying to help my team win. So just glad we got one tonight few moments that allowed you guys to just stick with it and come out on top? Um, I mean, it wasn't a masterpiece of execution, but uh, Isaiah, big shots. You know, I'm happy for him because uh, he had those looks in Philly earlier in this trip. Uh, in the last minute of that game, he got clean looks and missed them, and uh, no one takes more pride in delivering those plays than he does. So for him to step in and make those two shots tonight was huge. Uh, I was really happy for him. And you had balance scoring really every game, it seems, but tonight – Everybody that steps onto the floor scores. You have seven guys in double figures, three with 20 or more. Just how valuable was it in this game in particular? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, when we took care of it, you know, I thought that the we had some uncharacteristic live ball turnovers that really ignited uh, Charlotte. We were able to turn them over and win that battle. But, um, you know, I, I thought when we get shots on goal, we got really good stuff and uh, had some really good attacks and, and found some really good looks. And... It, you, whenever we talk to you about Aaron, you mentioned whatever role he played, he's always in character. But he had 26 tonight, six steals as well. Is this just more of the same for him tonight as well? Yeah, he was great. You know, I thought he had a really good blend. You know, I thought a lot of his stuff came attacking on the second side um, and making quick decisions on the catch, which he always does. Uh, so I thought he was a beneficiary of how we were playing tonight. Uh, and he also had some really good creation plays. You know, uh, with the ball in his hands, he's improved that part of his game. Uh, made a big three off of the offensive rebound that Josh uh, punched loose. Uh, so he played a great game. How many was it to get a win without Shea and Jay Hill? A good little rough patch, if you guess. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, these games this week uh, were really valuable for us. Uh, I think there's individual players that um, gained a lot of confidence from this, you know, from the experience of more minutes and, and kind of bigger roles. And, you know, when we insert Shea and Jalen back in, uh, hopefully they can maintain that confidence, you know, in the roles that they normally play for us. Uh, and I thought we, as you know, as a coaching staff, learned a lot throughout the week. I think there's some stuff that uh, we can carry forward with us, and then there's some stuff that, you know, we can leave, you know, here on the road. Um, but either way, I, I thought uh, there was a lot of learning this week for from our standpoint and from the player's standpoint. This was our eighth road game in the last ten uh, without two days off in between any of them. So it was a grind, uh, and the guys did a great job of hanging in there. Was there ever a minute in this game where you said, man, I wish we hadn't made that trade? Uh, so those, some of those guys were, uh, you guys had uh, traded away, played pretty well tonight. They were awesome. You know, they were awesome, and they have been. You know, we've I haven't watched their games, but following their box scores, you know, they've flourished with more opportunity. Uh, opportunity is constrained. You know, you can only you only have so much of it to divvy out, and obviously they're getting more here than they got in Oklahoma City, and we're happy to see their success. They're all really, really good guys, um, and you know, some of those guys, you know, Poku and Trey, we've developed, you know, since they got drafted here, and so uh, to see them build their games and have success, and that success be able to translate in a different environment is something that we're happy to see. Before the game, we talked about Chet's versatility and. Some of the biggest moments tonight, you run inverted pick and roll with him as the ball handler. Just tell me about the luxury that that is for you all to be able to not just put him in those positions, but execute in these crucial moments like that. Yeah, he made a really good you know pass there, and Isaiah made a really good you know bluff to confuse the coverage and um, you know good execution by them. But Chet, you know, he just continues to get better. I actually thought watching the Indiana game, I think tonight was similar. Um, his process in that Indiana game was really good, and he shot one for six from three. He missed a layup. He missed a dunk. You know, he was he was kind of an average night away from um, you know a really big night, 
but the way that he's playing, you know, and the decisiveness he's playing with, um, he's just having fewer and fewer possessions where there's a lot of fat, you know, and that's ultimately, you know, how you refine your game. And he's kind of doing that before our eyes a little bit. You guys did just snap a three-game loser streak, but you have four games left in the season. Just what are you looking to see or learn about your team in these last four games before heading into the postseason? Yeah, I mean, the best, you know, everybody talks about the preparation in the playoffs, but the best preparation for the playoffs is the 82 games. You know, you 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 carry your habits into the playoffs, and uh, we have to finish that job. You know, we're still a developing team, and um, we can't waste opportunities to, to improve, and these will be high-level games. I mean, these teams that are coming in are playing for something uh, and or playing well, and, you know, we'll get to test ourselves against that, and um, we got to finish the job of preparing ourselves and sharpening our blade, building our habits, um, you know, so that when the postseason comes, we make sure that we're the most actualized team we're capable of being by that point.